Hello, welcome back to the actual conclusion of 12C. I kind of lied on the last one. I thought it would have been the last video, but it uh, took a little longer than, than uh, I thought. So uh, this is the last example, so let's uh, get after it. All right, this is example four from page 403. Find the general term u sub n for the uh, an arithmetic sequence given that u sub 3 is 8 and u sub 8 is negative 17. Okay. So we're trying to find the general term when they only give us two terms. They don't give us the first term. They don't give us the difference. We're going to have to figure all those things out. So first thing you're going to want to do is make a table. Hopefully your table is going to look a little better than this. This is kind of a little uh, gross looking, but it'll it'll work for what we need. Okay. So um, what we're going to do here um, first is try to find uh, what our difference is going to be okay so we know that u sub 3 is 8 and u sub 8 is negative 17 so what I'm suggesting that we do is say okay we know that we're starting with 8 and then we are going to add let's see I'm going to do this with a different color to hopefully make it a little easier to understand so we're, st we're starting with 8 and then we have 1 2 3 4 five differences to get to u sub 8. So I'm going to say 8 plus five differences should give us this term here which is negative 17. Okay so again I'm just counting how many spots how many times we have to add that difference in to get to our eighth term. Okay so we have to add five of those differences to get to negative 17. So now we just solve for d. So subtract 8 from both sides and we get that 5d equals 25 oops excuse me negative 25 divide both sides by 5 and we get that the difference is negative 5 okay um, now that's huge because now that we have the difference now that we know the difference is um, we can actually go back um, from this and start plugging stuff into our general term formula and again our general term formula let's use a different color for that also is u sub n equals u sub 1 plus n oh not plus 1 but minus 1 minus 1 duh, times the difference d okay so we now know that d is negative 5 Okay, so for this formula here, we have n minus 1. We know we leave that in there, and we know that our difference is negative 5. So the only thing we need for our general term formula now is just what the first term is. Okay, so we have the eighth term, excuse me, the third term, which is 8, and we also know the difference. So now what we can do is we can actually go backwards from here. So let's go, we know that we're going to go backwards twice to get to the first term. So this direction here, we were adding 5. Oh, excuse me, we weren't. We were subtracting 5, right? We were subtracting 5 each time. So if we're going to go the other direction, we're going to do the opposite of subtracting 5, which would be adding 5, right? So add 5 here, add 5 there. So really to figure out the first term, so u sub 1 is going to be 8 plus um, twice the opposite of the difference sorry that's really goofy just ignore that maybe and just say hey I know I'm gonna go 8 plus 5 plus 5 so my first term is gonna be 8 plus 2 times 5 so again that's 8 plus 10 so our first term is 18 okay so we now know that this here is 18 because we know going back this direction, we're gonna if we're going to the right, we're subtracting five. So subtract five gives us thirteen. Subtract five gives us eight. So we know we're in good shape. Okay. So first term is. Let's see. Let's go back to. Well, we can use that. So we know that the first term is eighteen. So then let's go through and solve this. So u sub n, it's going to be eighteen, and then we take the negative five and distribute it to both of those, and we get minus 5n and then negative 5 times negative 1 is plus 5 so u sub n 18 plus 5 is 23 and then we also have the negative 5n 
So we got u sub n equals negative 5n plus 23. Okay, and that's our general term um, formula. Okay, again, it doesn't hurt to double check, so let's just try it out. So u sub 8, so here's our check again, just to make sure that we got it right. Um, u sub 8 is negative 5 times, should be negative 5 times 8 plus 23, right? And again, our 18th, excuse me, our 8th term is negative 18, 17. Ooh. Um, negative 5 times 8 is negative 40. And then we're going to add 23 to that. And negative 40 plus 23 gives us negative 17. So we know that this is correct. Okay? So, yay, we're all done. We got this all figured out. And now after the third video here you should be able to say that I can show us uh, that a sequence is arithmetic I can find the formula for the general term um, I can find a given term and find if a given number is a term given the sequence of numbers okay so again 12c big section a uh, lot of important information here make sure that you ask questions on whatever you have on this okay thanks